Hey, what's up? It's Sugar from Sound Candy Studio. I, I know I've been away for a while. I've been really busy with work, but I'm back now. Uh, right, uh, so let's kick off today's session. Today's session, I'm talking about uh, the fi- finisher by <laughs> finishing Neo by uh, Ujam. Uh, before I go any further, I'm going to say a big shout out to the guys over at Ujam for sending me this copy. Uh, I really, really do love this. Uh, and whilst I'm there, I'm, I should say this as well. On this channel, uh, you will never see me slay off a a a. a product uh, because I generally if if you send me a if you, anyone sends me some software to review if I don't like it I don't review it it's as simple as that I don't see any benefit of reviewing something simply to say it's rubbish and don't buy it that's not my style uh, so if I review it I really do like it or I somewhat like it and in the case of the UJAMS product this particular product I really do like it and I like it for lots of reasons which I'll go into a bit later on okay so right as you can see from the interface this there's not much to it, but don't be fooled by that. There's lots to this product. There may not be huge amounts of knobs and sliders, but this thing does the business. Okay, so you can see here it says variation one, and you can see here it says variation two. And in the middle, you can see effects, which is essentially your wet dry uh, encoder. And then below here, you have tons and tons of factory presets to go through. Uh, there are 27 algorithms and there are 50 modules. So there's lots to do here. There really is. Uh, now I've built a track and I'm going to, um, let me just play the intro for you and you can hear what it sounds like. So this is what we're going to do today. Uh, let's, uh, I should do this first. Let me just deselect there. Uh, let's just hear a bit of the track and then we'll see what we're doing. Okay, so that is the track. <laughs> That's the track itself. There's not much to it so far, but I'm, I'm still working on it. Anyway, uh, what I want to do is I am going to, I'm going to use this. Uh, this is Tune Track Easy Keys, and I'm going to use the Electric 200A, and I'm going to use it on default. And it sounds like this. In fact, let's, uh, let me just bypass the effect, first of all. Now, that's the sound. It's on the default, uh, so we don't need to see that again. So we'll move that out of the way. But if we engage the plugin, now this, the one thing I really, really love about this product is it allows me to do something really quickly and just get a feel for something. You know, sometimes you know what you want, but you kind of, you, you haven't heard it yet. You kind of know the, the, the basic ballpark of where it should be, but you haven't heard it yet. Now, this allows you to hear it uh, and not just hear it, but feel it. You know, you know what I mean? But when I say feel it, I mean, you're playing something and you can, yeah, if it had this to it, it could, it would add this, this product just does that. Uh, it really does. Honestly, believe me, it does that. It gets you to that, that sweet spot that you just say, yeah, that's what I want. And I'm going to play that. Okay. So let me play. I have a, I already have a, let me play this. Let me solo this. I already have a Rhodes piece on here. It's in reverse, but it will add to the track. But if we're looking to add something else, this finisher, Neo, will let me do it real quick. Let me play it for you. Let me play this, uh, uh, this Rhodes, but in reverse. So as you can see, I've added some effect to this, but I'm now looking to add a little bit more to this track. And I'm thinking, what can I do? And then I thought to myself, you know what? This finisher, this Neo, let me just add that and that will give me what, that will get me where I want to be. Uh, so let's take a listen to it. We'll play the track and then we'll just mess around. We'll go through some of the presets and we'll see what they do. We'll even mess around with the rotary encoders and see what that does as well and see what this does. Well, you know what this does, but we'll hear it. That's, that's the best thing. So let's just say we want to put something on top of this. Uh, uh, we've engaged it. So this particular preset sounds like this. Uh, let's cycle through. Let's see what else we've got. There we go. You like that? 
And if we were playing the track, so let's just go back to the track. If we're playing the track, we're looking for we're looking for something just to give us this extra edge that will go along with this road to number one. Uh, you know, let, let's just play it. We'll hear. We'll keep playing through some of the sounds. Okay, let's stop the track. Let's just play through some of these sounds. Uh, let's just keep going. Uh, and incidentally, in, the, in terms of the uh, what we've got under here, what have we got? We've got our factory set. So we've got spread, we've got crush, we've got swirl, shape, boost, inspiration. Wow, there's loads here. And uh, so where should we do? Should we just dive in anywhere? Let's try this one. What does that sound like? Uh, incidentally, you would see uh, these icons changing so we have here where it's a saturation then we have ambient levels so if we cycle through you can see that the characteristics are going to change so the information at the bottom of these that will give you extra information as to what the sound is going to sound like so let's just cycle through we'll play something So we are on the Hall of Doom. We can cycle through that. We can have a look under here as well. Uh, let's try. Let's try Lo-Fi. Let's see what that sounds like. Uh, let's try something else here. So you can see what I mean. If you're looking for a sound but you don't know what it is, this will get you. This will get you that sound. Let's just keep going through. Too much for me. That's, that's not right either. No. But you can hear what I mean now. There are there are tons of sounds, and you're just trying to find out what what's going to work with your tracks. So let's just keep going on. Now I like the uh, I like the panning on that sub optic. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so this says uh, sweet, dirty, and wet. Okay. Let's see what that sounds like with the track. Let's just put put that on. And let's keep cycling through a bit more. really do like do you remember when i if you hear this the, the individual notes they have this really beautiful resonance listen but in the track when you play the g major the g major seven uh it sounds when you play the chord it sounds completely different so you don't get that 
at reverb. Or you do, but you don't hear it in the track. So let's try that again. So if we hear that, if we play, if we play the chord... So this is a really this, this is a really beautiful sound because when I play uh, when you play the the melody you get that sound and I like that let's just let's skip in we'll we carry on we'll try something else. going on. See what, see what else we got here. Let's do a deep dive and let's just go real. Let's try, let's try the shape, see what that gives me. Uh, and let's try, let's try and put it on Space Station. Now I really do like that. <laughs> you know what happens when I when I start doing these videos and I start playing around with stuff, I end up, I just get carried away. But needless to say, this is a wonderful product. Let's just go through. You know what we can do? I could have just chucked it on here, but this one already has an effect on it, and I and, and I want there to be a distinction between the effect that Neo is providing rather than the effect that was already on that track. So let's just go through a few more and we'll hear what it sounds like. Let's try this one here. Yeah, that's not going to be for this track. I like that too. I like that too. And I like that too. Let's try that. See, see how that works. I really do like this thing. It, it sounds gorgeous. Anyway, because <laughs> if, if I keep doing this, I'm just going to play. Uh, but this is a finisher, Neo, by Ujam. It is AAX. It is VST, VST and AU. It is $99 in the US. Uh, there's also a demo of this on their website. I will leave all the links in the description for this. But there, also, there, is, there is also, it's called, there's a micro, uh, a, a micro Neo. And that is free. So if you go along to the website, you can download a copy of your free copy of that uh, but certainly check this thing out there's a demo of it so just go to uh, the UJAM website register log in download it and let me know what you think but I really love this once again thank you thank you for the guys over at UJAM for sending me this I love it thumbs up from me uh, I'm going to play you out the track and I will see you again this week take care for now bye bye Ooh,